Hello and welcome to another TakeInter tutorial here on the Quadra's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll talk about the geometry function in TakeInter. The geometry function is a pretty common and pretty popular function in TakeInter, and it's used primarily to change the window size. Okay, so that's its primary use. But there's a second use as well that people don't really know about, and that's screen positioning, or more like window positioning. Okay, so that's something that I feel like not enough people know about, so I decided to make this video. Okay, so before we begin, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, we have a lot of Take Inter content coming out, a lot of Take Inter content that's been released, a lot of content that's planned. All right, so uh, do be sure that you're here for it. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. All right, so let's just run this code I have here and see the output. Okay, so this is our Take Inter window. Okay, it has a simple label widget on it that says this is the window and this is the default size because currently I haven't defined the size for this take inter window. Okay, so what if I want to do that? What if I want to define a size? All right, now one way is creating a frame and simply adjusting the frame uh, width and height parameters, but right now I don't want to do that. I want to come up with a different way. Okay, and there's one more issue actually because if you do something like pack, and then you want to pad it a bit, okay? And if you run this, you'll see what happens is that the window kind of becomes smaller, okay? Let me just reduce the padding a bit because it's making everything seem off. Okay, so this is what happens to the window. It's sort of, uh, you know, the window shrinks to fit around the widget. And that's what pack does and that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, but if for some reason you want to change it, okay, or if you're using, you know, the, pl the place layout manager, then you want to change the, the size of the window. So how will you do that? Well, we have the geometry function, okay, geometry over here, and uh, spelling mistake. So we, you just need to pass in a single parameter here. You just need to pass in the size of the window that you want. So for example, I'll pass in 400 by 300, where 400 is the width, and 300 is the height. And yes, there needs to be this little x in the middle. So if I do this, the window size should be different. Let's run it. And there we go. Here's a much larger window, okay? It's a 400 by 300 window. Clearly, we, we can see that, okay? Now, what if I want to position this, okay? And this brings us to the second use, okay? Window positioning. Now, just to be clear, if I run this right now, let's see what happens our take inter window has shown up at a rather random location, okay? It just showed up over here. And that might look bad when you're, you know, giving an application out, when you're creating something, uh, a proper GUI application and you're giving it to your end customers and the GUI window is just popping up in the corner somewhere and you're like, no, that, 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 that just looks weird, right? You want it to be centered, centered on the screen, right? So that's actually, uh, you know, what you can use geometry for. Or what if you want to make it in the, appear in the corner? Yeah, you can do that too. Like what if you have multiple windows, so you want one to appear in the corner, one in the center, and so on. So you can all use geometry to achieve all of that. Okay, and I'll show you how. If you do plus, okay, and plus 100, plus 100, what this means is 100 in the X and 100 in the Y. Okay, this is the X and this is the Y. So if I do this, uh, or actually let's do something a bit more extreme, okay? 300 on, the, 300 on the Y. Now, if I'm correct, the window should pop up somewhere over here, okay, near the bottom. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. The window showed up somewhere near the bottom. Let's just try something else. Let's, let's move the x-axis a lot. 600 offset from the x, okay? So this will make it appear somewhere here, here. okay? And if I just increase that even further, There, it appears over there. This is basically offset, offset from the top left corner. Okay, it's a pretty handy uh, you know, feature and something that you should definitely be you know, keeping your eye on. Now let's just take a look at one more thing. It's a rather interesting way of centering the screen because you don't want, you don't want to sit around and you know, start measuring it now, do you? Because um, you know, there are different screen sizes. You want to give your application out and you have people who might, might be using 
uh, a 1080p screen, some people using a 720p screen, some people using a 900p screen. So you're like, uh, what do I do about this? You need a way to automatically center the screen, right? Don't worry, I'll teach you how to, how to do that just now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is use this handy little technique. Okay, let's just define a screen size. Sorry, not a screen size, a window size. Let's say I want my height to be uh, 300, width to be 400, okay? And I need the screen width and screen height now, okay? So what is the screen width? Well, I can find this out because obviously you don't know, right? You may know the size of your own screen, but you don't know the size of other people's screens. So if you do this, you now have the window width, the screen width, okay? Pretty handy. Now let's do the same for the height, root dot win info. Uh, w is basically, I think it stands for window, window info, okay? So if I do this, we now have the screen width and we now have the screen height. Now, uh, we just need to use some simple logic over here. It's a basic, it's a very basic formula and if you follow this formula, then, uh, you know, it'll center. Watch, x is equal to, screen width divided by two minus h divided by two. Sorry, width, all right? Uh, width divided by two minus width divided by two. And over here for the y, height divided by two minus h divided by two. And if you follow this formula, you'll get x and y where x and y are the um, offsets, right? The offset, yeah, it's the offset. h and w are, is the size of the window, and x and y are the offset that it needs to be at to be centered. So if I just change this a bit, and um, let's see, this, all right, I'm using placeholders here. This is, this is formatting in Python, um, like this and like this, and this gives us, uh, these are placeholders, okay? These are placeholders. And you can see here that I have the X sign for the width and height, and the plus signs for the offset, okay? And now I need to fill in those placeholders with W, H, and what's this supposed to be? X. This is supposed to be Y. So X and Y. There we go. This is the uh, way to do it. Because obviously you can't put etch in here, right? You can't put, put etch directly into the string. I mean, you could uh, do something like this where you do uh, convert, convert etch to a string and then append it to X and then do this. And you could, do it, you could do it like that and then just pass in that string here. But personally, I think this, this is easier to follow, okay? If you're comfortable with uh, string formatting and all. Okay, so let's run this now and see what happens. It should appear dead center. Uh, what's up with that? Oh, of course, there is there is no set you know second parameter. It's just one parameter. Root is not defined, and of course because uh, this all should happen in between this. Okay, there we go. Dead center. Okay. So this is how you center your screen in Tickinter, and I hope you guys learned something from this video because uh, you know it's something pretty simple, but it's something that's pretty useful. And personally, from my experience, those kind of things are, are, are like the best. It's, it's simple but highly effective. So yeah, uh, do leave a comment, leave some, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. All right, let me know what you guys thought of the video and what you would like to see. All right, I'll see you guys in a later video.